All right, we still have with us Dr. Danny Kere, the University of Lagos, joining us here to discuss this. <coughs> now, a lot of people say, even though uh, when we were reviewing the papers, it was like, okay, the president seemed to make uh, a, a quick move this time around, but it seemed the quick move, it still took some time before the, yeah, the, the move was quick. In fact, the quick move came a bit late. <laughs> <you know? laughs> because the decision had been taken before you are calling for a review. Exactly. And this was not just something that came overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, there were, you know, expectations, there were aspirations, there were suggestions, there were all manner of, you know, you know, the discussions going on. And there were reactions. After, yes, and they, in afterwards. fact, volatile reactions. Very, yeah. So yeah. I expected that while all of that was going on, the president should have, you know, come into the scene to say, well, this is our stand, or this is what I feel is the right thing to do. And I doubt if they will want to just sweep his, uh, you know, suggestion aside. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the right time, he, w w it is, in fact, it is stepping at the right time. You know, but at the same time, too, let's look at it very critically because I know that decision was just to kind of, you know, assuage a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of interest, mm -hmm. both at the world level, at the state level, and all the rest. Because with that decision of okay, let's extend the tenure, all the challenges that were anticipated mm -hmm. were now perceived to have been taken care of, mm -hmm. at least in the short, you know, uh, uh, while. Mm -hmm. On the ground that if they had gone for any form of a, a convention, convention. electric co convention, there would have been a lot of challenges. Mm. You no, know, but equally, that is part of the test of the strength of a party. Mm. You know, you, you can't continue to just sit on everything in that manner. In the name of, if you go for a convention, the party might break up. The party might, which means that even the chairman has not done a good job. Mm. If going to mm. a convention will make the party afraid. break up, and the only thing that can seal the party is for him, for his tenure to be extended, then that man does not even deserve the seat. But if, is the APC still not at risk of that? If whether the whether, party whether still they goes go for, for election, elective convention, whether they convention. accept this, whatever, the risk is still there. Mm -hmm. You see, but then, let the risk be the type that is, you know, manageable. Okay. Essentially, let it be the one that, you know, will be in line with law, in particular. Because where you do things, for as long as, it is law that sets up these institutions and it is on the strength of law that some mm. of the cooperate. Ordinarily, who is you good to tell uh, Ashwaju what to do? It is because there is a law that empowers him as the chairman of the party to say, okay, this is where we should go. And they follow. Absolutely. But although over the years, issue of charisma and the rest have been you know, playing out on the <laughs> question of leadership of uh, the APC. So when you look at all of that, I think, yes, it was in the interest of Okay, let's not break the thing in this manner that that decision was taken. But that decision was equally offensive to some other interests. Mm -hmm. So, rather than go into this question of offending this group or offending that group or try to please this one, then follow the law. Mm -hmm. In that case, it will not be seen that you are trying to support a particular mm -hmm. candidate. Because as it stands, the rule says you have a tenure of social number of years. Now the years have come to an end or are coming to an end, mm. then at the end of that, you leave. So if I follow that one, it will not look like it is because of so-so powerful interests that I'm not taking this route. Even if that is the reason, at least there is a backing, which is the law. No, exactly. no but the situation where the I law mean, does I not back least, what you are doing. At least the constitution of the party mm. has a mm. process mm. or mm. procedure so, for all of those. For and, me, I think and regardless, that, that it would reflect well on the indeed, party. The indeed, image of I the party. think that is what should be done, really. So, so far, the position of the president for me is the right way to go. As the right way to go. And if you go anything outside that, chances are that you are even going to rock the boat mm. the more. Yeah. Now, but when it comes to the party convention, uh, the, a lot of people have been, we've been listening to comments from people saying that uh, uh, it, it seems they are, they are afraid of something by not uh, convening the, the national convention. Exactly. Exactly, and but, that, but, that, but that fear could, is what, what has played itself <laughs> out. <laughs> it is that fear that led to the extension of the tenure of the executive. And unfortunately, too, none of them will raise any issue to tell you how unlawful they are, too. You know, because why not follow the law of the, of the, of the party? Why not follow the concern of the party? Mm -hmm. Because your tenure is just elongated and you are so happy that, ah, you, you know, thank you for this and mm -hmm. you are so happy. Mm -hmm. Now, you forgot that there are others who can as well go to court to yes. want to find out whether what has been done. To test the law. Yeah, exactly. It, you know, falls within the, the realm of the provisions of the constitution of the party. And I doubt if 
the party can survive that. But do you think uh, Oyegu and his uh, supporters would go down just like that without uh, giving it a fight? Yeah, giving it a fight will equally show that they don't even know what they are doing. Mm. Because the mere fact that your tenure was extended outside the provisions of the constitution shows that you are lawless, you know, accepted to do such a thing. Mm. But he, the man has been there for how many years? Now, what, was it not expected that there should be a convention? Was it not expected that his tenure will end and somebody else will come on board? So why would he want to be there? Is he a king? Mm. You know, so you look at all of that. It, they are all functions of failure. They are functions of failure. It shows that the man has failed. The executive has failed because they never had any plan of succession in place. And that is what party politics entails. There has to be room for changes where, even if you are doing well, mm. in the course of doing well, you get weak. Mm. And you never can tell the man you know, beside you whether he does not even have more energy and more exactly. ideas to add. So to be better than you? Are you getting it? Why not give room for that to happen? That is the beauty of democracy. Okay. So I expect that within the parties, there should be even internal democracy. We should deepen it to the point that whatever the process produces, people can be confident enough to say that, yes, indeed, this was the position for the party. All so. right. Uh, well, Dr. Daneker, we have to leave it here now. Yeah. We thank you very much for uh, giving us your insight on this. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank coming. You so it was a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you.